Hi, my name is Matt Herford. I've spoken to you previously about the data fabric powered by NetApp, um, and it's the agility to move your data around between different clouds that's fundamental to that strategy and our vision. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how we're extending that out into the backup environment with our new product coming to market called AutoVault. Um, it's the ability to take your backup workloads and move them directly to cloud environments to gain fundamentally a better TCO, but also a better service. Um, Let's start with talking about how this uh, architecture works at a high level. We fundamentally take any backup environment and we can ingest the data from those uh, various backup vendors software. Could be Convolt, could be Semantic, could be Veeam. There's a whole range of backup software we can connect to. We can also take streaming data from Unix environments, for example, or Windows environments that are running these streaming workloads. Perhaps your Oracle DBA is backing up his environment and you'd like to pump that straight out to a CIFS or an NFS share. So we basically take these workloads and we mount up a CIFS or an NFS share onto the AltaVault platform. What happens now is we have to connect up object cloud environment. And there's a whole range of these. I think there's over 50 in the marketplace that we can connect the AltaVault to. So we can take any backup to pretty much any object cloud. The main ones we see in the marketplace are obviously AWS, Azure. You could also connect up to uh, an OpenStack Swift environment, for example, or you could even connect up to a, a cloud object store running on NAP's own storage grid uh, object software. So we connect up the order vault and we point it to a cloud environment. And that really is one of the only key requirements when you start this appliance, it is that easy. This is the environment running what we call archive mode. So you're taking the uh, backup software um, output and you're basically pumping it straight through to a cloud environment. There's another way of running the product which is in backup mode. In this particular example, what we would do is connect up some disk capacity to access cache on the AutoVault appliance itself which sizes appropriately, we want you to be able to get back the data you need quickly. Uh, obviously, right, if you're pumping this backup data for long-term um, compliance reasons out to cloud environments, but say you need the data back in that 80-20 you know, rule, that month, two months, three months, whatever your requirement is, we put enough disk on here to make sure that you get the service you require in terms of those backup restores. Um, this is the physical plant, so we've spoken about how we run it in archive mode, how we run it in backup mode. Um, we're also coming to market with some virtual storage appliances uh, with AutoVault that you can run in your VMware environment without having the need to run uh, a physical uh, appliance. This is obviously beneficial for those uh, small to medium business environments. And we're going to come to market with three different sizes depending on your requirements. So you'll be able to run these up in VMware environments. They operate in exactly the same way you connect them up to a cloud. Um, we're also enabling the uh, virtual appliances to be actually run inside some of the cloud provider environments, and that includes AWS Marketplace and also the Azure Marketplace. And there's some interesting use cases here. Um, if you're running your EC2 workloads or your Azure workloads inside the cloud, how are you backing them up? Maybe you'd like to use the virtual storage appliance inside Azure or inside Amazon to back them up to other clouds or back to your central data center, for example. Um, the interesting thing here is, is obviously how we actually generate the TCO benefits. There's also reduced costs from constantly having to regenerate uh, tape, uh, manage tape. The labor costs can be, can be prohibitive. Um, but there's also the fact that we are uh, applying um, inline DGB compression ratios to the data you're in ingesting. Uh, we talk about these uh, benefits being in the terms of 10 to 30 times. In the real world, inside the ANZ market, we have a number of customers that are easily achieving 18 times compression and DGB. That's a massive storage efficiency. So not only is it cheaper to store it out there, there's less labor costs. Uh, you're not having to renew the technology that you would have to do with tape over the life cycle of the backup, but you're also getting a large amount of compression efficiencies um, compared to what you would have to store if you weren't using the AutoVault device. If you'd like to know more about the AutoVault solution, um, there's some links that follow. Um, I thank you for your time.